Uh, this is right outside the area I was at. Right, back step. Okay, so when I'm moving and press circle, when I'm not mo using moving. There's a little soul up here, but I can't get to it. Oh man, atmosphere bringing me right back home. Right back freaking home. Which way do I want to go? Well, I guess if I want to try and beat that boss, but... I'm pretty sure running away means running away and wait till you're stronger, and I'm not stronger, all I have is a dagger. Whoever's up here is a bitch. Yeah, you're a bitch. Die. Roll me over. It's locked. So I cannot go that way. Oh. Oh, he freed this room up for me. Okay. Oh, you. You're no hollow. Hmm? Nope. Thank goodness. I'm done for, I'm afraid. I'll die soon, then lose my sanity. I wish to ask something of you. You and I were both undead. Hear me out, will you? Yes. Regrettably, I have failed in my mission. But perhaps you can keep the torch lit. There is an old saying in my family. Thou who art undead art chosen. In thine exodus from the undead asylum, maketh pilgrimage to the land of ancient lords. When thou ringeth the bell of awakening, the fate of the undead thou shalt know. Well, now you know. And I can die with hope in my heart. Oh, one more thing. Here, take this. An Estus flask. An undead favorite. Ah, oh, thank you. Oh, and this. Undead Asylum. Oh, floor two, East Key. Thanks, dude. Now I must bid farewell. I would hate to harm you after death. So go now, and thank you. Not out. Not at all, bro. Use item. I said bonfires replenish those Estus flasks. All right. Very well then. Oh, he killed himself. I heard that. I heard that shink. The dude killed himself. That's that's morbid. I got a hundred souls for that though. So thanks, dude. Your soul will live on in me. Right. Wield my right weapon two-handed, so I can. I can wield my freaking dagger two-handed. Left stick plus R1 is kick. R2 jump attack. Wait. I'm trying. Maybe I maybe I need to have nothing in my uh, hands to do that. Let me try. No? I'll figure it out. I say bonfires revives enemies. Come on. I'm trying to figure out how to kick here.
Oh, okay. I have to, like, tap it like that. Nope. Here, have some two-handed dagger action. <laughs> okay, yeah, you have to, like, really quickly tap the left thumbstick and then press the button. Sorcerer's Catalyst, huh? use sorceries, attune sorceries from a skull at bonfire. Most sorceries have limited number of uses. Oh my god, I finished him off in one hit. There you go. With Catalyst equipped, use Sorcery, then I can change my Sorcery. R1 while falling is a plunging attack. R1 behind the enemy is a critical hit. Let's use an Estus Flask, please. Traverse the white light if I want to, but we are going in here first. Oh! Oh! Mobile, mobile, mobile bastard! Hey! No drinking on the job, buddy. How's the matter with you? Well, we got him, and we got him good. Wait, this is it. L2 parry, repel an enemy attack after parrying R1 to repulse. I'm guessing that's also a timing thing. I have to just like hit L2 at the right time. And timing isn't necessarily my best best thing. Oh god no. Whoa! I thought I didn't have to fight you! Oh god, I do have to fight him? What? Oh! I didn't know I had to fight him! I died like five times before I actually get this. Oh god. I'm so scared. Oh! No! Hurry, switch to Soul Arrow. Keep doing that! Ah! Oh god, I'm so scared. I'm going in. YOLO! Woo! Oh, big Pilgrim's key. Humanity won. Oh my god. I did 
didn't know I had to fight him. I thought that was just like a, like the freaking vanguard from Demon Souls. I literally thought you run into him like once and then like he appears later as like a normal enemy or some shit. I didn't know you actually were required to fight him. Oh my god. Now, if I rest at the bonfire, is he going to come back? Is my my fear. I would assume not, but holy. F uh, to gain use the game plus one humanity. Restore HP. Opens the inner door of Undead Asylum Main Hall. I used 10 soul arrows, but all of those were worth it. Oh, okay, so resting at a bonfire also replenishes my number of uses for my spells. Is he still here? No, he isn't. Okay, cool. Good job. Go straight ahead. Well, what if I want to go to the side? You're not going to stop me, are you? Well, there's nowhere I can really go anyway. Dude, that was so freaking terrifying. I didn't know you had to fight it. What the hell? Or at least, at the very least, I thought it was just optional. Only in the ancient legends it is stated that one day an undead shall be chosen. To leave the undead asylum in pilgrimage to the land of the ancient lords. I have to ring the bell. Lordran. I have to ring the bell of awakening, right? Oh boy. You could have landed me a little bit more gently. If I'm chosen, you don't want me to break my legs my first time here, do you? God. In Lordland, level up and kindle at bonfires. Firelink's shrine. This is where it begins, isn't it? Reverse hollowing. I have no idea what that is. Kindle. I don't know what that does. Let's just take the safe route and do the level up. Um. Alright, so let's look at these parameters. Let's see, vitality, HP, determining number of t attunement slots, so that means how much magic I have. Stamina, equipment load, resistance to bleeding, Requ required to wield powerful weapons, wield advanced weapons, also boost weapon attack, boosting defense and resistance to poison, wield sorceries, also boost sorceries and magic weapons. Number of black sprites within one's uh, bosom symbolizes human nature and determines item discovery and resistance to curses. Should I take that humanity I got earlier then? Alright, so this would increase my physical defense, my magic defense, 
flame defense and lightning defense. Uh, I guess I'll spend these souls here. Seeing how big of a jump it is. This would increase my HP a little bit. Which for... I don't think I need another attunement slot, I only have one item. Uh, let's increase my faith one. Alright, let's accept. Accept the changes. There we go. Level 6. Tune magic. Cannot do that still. Kindle. Oh, I can reverse my hollowing. No humanity. Oh, shit. I guess if I wanted to use this humanity, I could return to a stronger state or something. What's up, buddy? Well, what do we have here? You must be a new arrival. Let me guess. Fate of the undead, right? Well, you're not the first. But there's no salvation here. You'd have done better to rot in the undead asylum. But too late now. Well, since you're here, let me help you out. There are, actually, two bells of awakening. One's up above in the undead church. The other is far, far below, in the ruins at the base of Blight Town. Ring them both, and something happened. Brilliant, right? Not much to go on. But I have a feeling that won't stop you. So... Off you go. It is why you came, isn't it? To this accursed land of the undead? <laughs> Smarmy little fucker, aren't you? <laughs> um, I will not use my humanity just yet, actually. Well, I don't know anything about my surroundings, so I think I should hold on to it until I get a better grasp. Oh, never mind. Just use the humanity, so let's reverse my hollowing. Cool. So now I look normal again. Hallelujah. Just use one more humanity because this does influence like item discovery. I'll save the other two for now. I'm being very cautious here because I don't necessarily understand the mechanics fully yet, but at least I feel like I'm doing the right thing for now. So now it's basically an open book. I can go wherever I freaking want. That looks threatening. Let's go this way. I, I have like nothing in terms of equipment. I'm liter literally running around with a dagger going ooga booga booga. As literally my purpose right now. Oh, item right down there. Can I get down there? Yes, I can. Are there enemies? Probably. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh shit, these guys can take hits. 
Oh! Well, that's demoralizing. It also means I can't, I shouldn't go down there because frightening things.